Hello everybody, today in this video I'll be ranking every type of restraint that is at Hershey Park. But before I get into it, if you aren't subscribed and you like what you see, consider subscribing. We are almost at 50 subscribers and I am so excited. But with that out of the way, let's get right into the list. Starting at the number 11 spot, we have Sidewinder's Vest Restraints. <sighs> Guys, I, I really hate these restraints. Um, they are really tight, really tight on my shoulders. I remember... I was walking up to this, I'm like, yeah, I want to ride my first ever Vekoma Boomerang. And it's going to be so awesome because they have vest restraints. Yeah. And then as soon as I pulled that down, I'm like, oh, this is going to suck, isn't it? So yeah, Sidewinders vest restraints are not good. They are very tight and I don't like them. And that's why they're at the number 11 spot. At the number 10 spot, we have Sky Rush's lap bars. Now, let me just say, these restraints are comfortable, but after the first drop, they are unbearable. They are very tight. They just crush your thighs. They just aren't comfortable. And I just, yeah, I don't like these. These cause a lot of pain, but let me just say, the pain is worth the ride on Skyrush. Just trust me. If you haven't earned Skyrush, it's worth the pain. Just trust me. <laughs> uh, all right. At the number nine spot, we have Laugh Tracks Lap Bar. Now, I would like this restraint if the trains weren't so tight. I am not even like a tall person, and these trains are very tight for me, even. And the lap bar is so bulky. It's so big. And I don't know why. Before the ride, when I strapped in, I'm completely comfortable. In a way, I'm comfortable. But after the ride, my leg, my thighs, they just hurt. I don't know why. They're just in a different position, and I don't know how. But that's just how it is with Laugh Track. At the number eight spot, we have Coca Cruisers and Wild Mouse's shared lap bars. Now, these lap bars are actually pretty comfortable, but the last time I've ridden these roller coasters was when I was by myself. So, I don't really know how I feel when you're with someone, because the last time I went on this, these roller coasters when I was with someone was probably about four years ago. So I don't really have any memories there, but I would assume it's not that great, so that's why it takes the number eight spot. At the number seven spot, we have the Millennium Flyer Lap Bars. These are really comfortable lap bars, you guys. But why is it at number seven, you ask? Well, it's easy to get stapled. And every time I ride either Lightning Racer or Wildcat, I'm always finding myself holding up the lap bar the entire ride, which I don't like to do. And if you have to do something in order to enjoy a ride, in my opinion, that's not good. So, number seven is a good spot for the GCI lap bar. At the number six spot, we have the Ensign Over the Shoulder Soft Strap Restraint. Now, you may be thinking, why is an Over the Shoulder Restraint over the GCI lap bar, which I just said was comfortable? And the reason is, I actually kind of like Over the Shoulder Restraints. I know it's kind of weird, but I like them. And the thing about the intimate over the shoulder restraint is that it actually locks in place, unlike the GCI lap bar. But I have a problem with the intimate shoulder restraint. There's just so much going on. Like you have a bulky like bar that goes around your waist. You have um you know the, the of course the soft straps which are really can be really close to your shoulders. So it's just it's just really tight. It's a tight restraint, but it's not like the vest restraint type. It's very different. At the number five spot, we have Great Bears over the shoulder restraint. Again, like with the Intamin over the shoulder restraint, I like this one. It's actually really good, and I like it better than the Intamin one because it's much less complicated. There's less going on, and I find it to be a bit more comfortable. At the number four spot, we have Trailblazer's Lap Bar. These lap bars are actually pretty comfortable, and for me, I'm a pretty tall rider for this ride. So it kind of comes down to the top of my stomach, so I'm not really even restrained whenever I'm in this ride. I mean, I am, but like, I'm not, like, it's not to my waist, so it's not like, uh, you get what I mean. So that's why I like Trailblazer's lap bars, because they have a lot of verb for me. So that's why it takes the number four spot. At the number three spot, we have Super Duper Looper's lap bar. 
I love these lap bars, you guys. If <laughs> I like these lap bars a lot. They're easy, and let me just make this clear. I like ratcheting lap bars. Um, I mean, restraints better than hydraulics because they're easier to pull down, and they sound cool, and I kind of trust them a little more. Not that I don't trust hydraulics. It's just it's easier to understand the ratcheting restraint. But anyways, back to the Super Duper Loopers lap bars. They're comfortable. It's not just like a metal bar going across your waist. It's actually like comfortable. It's got some padding on it, and I like it. At the number two spot, we have Candemonium's Clamshell Restraint. Oh my gosh, these are probably the most comfortable restraint I've ever, ever had on a roller coaster in my entire life. So it's very non-restrictive, and it has like one bar that's connecting the actual lap bar restraint to the, the ratchets. So your legs are also very exposed, and I like it a lot. And at the number one spot, I'm sure this is no surprise, but this is the PTC buzz bar found on Comet. And the reason why I like this one is because, well, it doesn't touch you at all. You're like the most exposed, like you can pretty much be on a roller coaster. Now there is one downside to this is that it has seat belts, but like, come on, do, do you guys really tighten your seat belt on this roller coaster? Yeah, you, you leave that stuff loose. Anyways, yeah, uh, PTC buzz bar, really good. You get some really good air time because of it, and that's why it takes the number one spot. Thank you all for watching this video. If you like what I post, consider subscribing. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we are almost at 50 subscribers. And if you like this video, drop a like down below. And if you agree with my list, tell me down below. And if you don't, um, tell me why and how would you rank all of the restraints at Hershey Park. But with that said, this is Great Bear Productions, and I'll see you all later. Bye.